Welcome back, everyone. We're talking about hiring a financial advisor when it's right, when it's wrong. And uh, we were talking a little bit about, you know, talking to an expert. I'm not a money management uh, financial person all the time. I'm like, I was told there'd be no math. So when you compare it to, like, when you're not feeling well, you see a doctor. When you're talking about planning for the future financially, you should probably talk to an expert. That's exactly right. Thinking about that doctor or you go to the dentist when you have a problem with your teeth. Often people think they should fix their financial situation on their own, but you're not an expert in that area. You want to work with somebody that does have education in that area, um, which is good to ask them questions too. What are their qualifications? Do they have continuing education? Are they working towards, let's say, a CFP designation, a certified financial planner, or what makes them qualified to help you? So having that expert that sees situations on a daily basis that can be very helpful for you is important. I would imagine it might reduce your stress too, because some people like, you know, is the market up? Is it down? Do I need to be studying that? Instead, having someone else uh, keeping track of that is probably better. That's important too right now as we've had a long bull market. It's <clears> been <throat> 10 years of up, you know? Everybody's seen their 401k statements increase and it's a good thing, right? But what happens when that stops? Because at some point in time, there has to be a correction. The market goes up and down over time, it goes up. But how are you gonna react? And having somebody else kind of take that burden off and have a strategy and talking to you about what do you do? Are you in the right type of allocation? Really looking at the bigger picture versus your emotional reaction to it, which is what a lot of people do. We think back to 2008, people got really scared and pulled out of the market and then they were never able to recover those dollars. So when you're working with somebody that can walk you through that and understand your emotional behavior to investing, it can really keep you in line. Talk more about that because I think a lot of people you make decisions, maybe you hold on to a stock too long because you're like, oh my gosh, I love this company or you're not really seeing it for the numbers is what it should be. So speak to how you help your clients maybe take the emotion out and go, hey, look, when we lose X, we're out. When we make this much, we're out or whatever your game plan is. Well, I think most advisors work with clients to have a long term picture, looking at where are they at. If you're somebody who's young, you're looking for growth you can handle the market ups and downs, but you're also trying to be diversified. We never wanna be invested in one company. If you look at most mutual funds, the holdings inside of them, each one is only about 2%. So if they're invested in Amazon and Netflix and each of those holdings is approximately 2% if you look at them. So if you're a person who's only invested in that company, your entire performance is based on how does that one company do? And you really don't wanna have that. Um, really knowing the time period you're at. Are you 20, 30, 40, 50, 60? Those are very different points along your financial strategy. Are you looking for growth or are you looking for distributions? Making sure that you're having that conversation of when do you want to be retiring or buying a house? Maybe it's a first house purchase or buying a lake place. Making sure that you're investing properly based on those different life decisions. Really that advisor should be asking you questions finding out what are your goals, not their goals or their generic strategy. That's what you don't want to have is something that's just everybody should do the same cookie cutter plan. Everybody has different timeline and goals that they're working towards. I could just like do this all day long and talk to you about it. So how can people get a hold of you if they notes. want? I know. <laughs> they can said... find me on Facebook, H. Sorensen Fargo or Twitter. Um, phone number is 701-388-4649. You make talking about finances like, not so scary. Not so scary. Right. Yeah. 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 Palatable. So great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about some great recipes with any coconut and spice and all kinds of good stuff.